oh my gosh i think i'm going to start filming in this little area like how freaking cute christmasy vibes are you guys feeling it are you guys liking it i'm really here for it right now and they're still fixing like the balconies and stuff and they're like talking and it's so annoying me right now seriously what it is what's up everybody welcome back to my channel if you guys are new and lost in the sauce and do not know who i am that is okay i am cassandra liz welcome before this video starts make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel and click the bell right beside it just to get future post notifications every single time i post a new video for y'all okay y'all be the first to know you guys in today's video i will be non-stop raving about the Too faced gingerbread extra spicy new palette as well as the gingerbread girl matte liquid lipstick bomb af if you guys don't have these products on your christmas wish list add them trust and believe like this palette literally smells like gingerbread and i keep on smelling my lips right now because it smells like a gingerbread cookie so there is 11 mattes and there are i think one two three four five six seven shimmer shades they all blend absolutely beautiful i use this on my birthday when i got it shout out to my sister-in-law because i love this damn palette right now i'm always reaching for this it's very simple to use and these shadows blend so perfect like all right let me stop hyping this up and let me show you guys how i created this look already put this on your wish list okay too Faced, you did it once again okay but let me apply some of this so i got this from ulta beauty this is the lip plumping high shine gloss i have never tried this but i've seen like a lot of people rave about this so i was like you know what my wife got me a gift card and once i walked in i ended up buying you guys i have to show you guys this because this has been my go-to scents right now so this is the courtney diamond perfume the new one i love it what the okay like i was saying before that barcode f me up i have been loving this this kind of reminds me of okay so when i was younger i would use like the britney spears i don't know what I don't know what it was called, but it was a pink bottle and had little green diamonds all over it. That's what this reminds me of. It smells absolutely amazing. And it lasts so long. Like, I spray this in my hair and my, all over my body. I love this. I actually want to try the crystal one and the body one. But I had to rave about this real quickity quick because, you guys... If you guys don't have this on your Christmas list, put it on your Christmas list. Thank me later. I wasn't a fan of the Chloe one and the Kim one just because it feels and smells a little bit older. But if you are very confident in your scents and things like that, that may just be for you. But I had to settle. I love me some Courtney, you guys. But anyways, how was you guys' Thanksgiving? I absolutely enjoyed it to the T. Like I had such a good time. You know what that smells like? Like mint. And I will say that like I thought, thought this would um have like a lip applicator. I feel like it's just a pointy like a needle. I could feel it tingling though. I ain't mad at that. <laughs> Plump up these lips. I know a lot of you guys are like, oh, you're always talking about plumping your lips. And you don't do it. Bitch, I ain't got that type of money, first of all. And second of all, um, I just be scared. I get really scared. Okay, so first things first, I'm going in with this peachy shade. It's called In a Pinch. And I'm just going to be using this Real Techniques. This is the base shadow brush. And just adding that on my crease. As you guys can see, it's very, very, very pigmented. But honestly, these shadows are so easy to blend that's one of the main reasons why i hype this palette because using other palettes usually like it'll stick to one shit like one spot not shade excuse me and then it's kind of like difficult to blend it all out but no this palette is bl very very blendable with every shadow like so i'm always so impressed you guys so i'm just adding it as you guys can see above 
and in my crease so in my crease is meaning like right in here around the eyeball look at that color yes but like i was saying i had an amazing thanksgiving spent it with my in-laws and then i spent it with like half of my family because you know how as you get older family kind of breaks apart but you guys gotta remember family's always there so let me try part ways because shit does get hard and things do hit the fan and then boom you're right back with your family you know what i mean like family's always gonna be there as i was having a heart to heart moment I think he just popped my bubble I'm like damn so now i'm going into hot tamale which is just this beautiful like purpley shadow i can't get enough of this so you guys might catch me like a few times let me just tell you the scent is amazing like two face really steps it up damn y'all y'all really messing up my video right now i'm just going to add this in my outer v and in my crease and blend it forward. My lighting kind of washes it up, but as you guys can see, it's a little bit like a plum shade. And you're just kind of blending it in with the peach shade just to give it that illusion of an ombre. I mean, whenever you're ready, a week can work. So per usual, I'm just going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and just cutting up my crease. So I will show you guys how I do this. And as you guys can see, like when I look up like this or whatever, it kind of just cuts it for me and shows me exactly where I need to cut it. So then I just use a flat brush just to clean it up. Okay, so once my crease is cut, I'm going to be using Spicy Mommy with that same flat brush. And this seems a little bit sticky, but I'm just going to kind of add that all over the lid it's a really really pretty like shimmery shadow like it. i will say like if you want it more metallic -y, wet the brush because it does seem like it would be like a good wet shadow. And you guys know I'm all about my cranberry shades. I probably did this a few times. Don't come for me. But this palette is amazing. Like I am in awe right now. Because I have it, like I use some of it, like the champagne, like cookie cutter, lick the spoon, and I may have used candy coin or just kind of swatched into it, but they're all bomb AF, like I can't get enough, like it's just bomb, like a pretty, like my light is a little bit bright, but hold on, hold on, right queen, no, that's the dimmest. And by the way, you guys, I am filming with my iPhone 11 Pro camera. Pictures on that bad boy are bomb. Like, I don't even have to edit anymore. I love it. I mean, sometimes I edit, like, my, my little lines here because, you know, I've always been insecure about those. <laughs> even though I, like, I'm always cheesy as hell. 
So maybe that's why that happened, but still. No. Okay, so now I'm going in with Candy Queen, which is this beautiful shimmery gold shadow. Loving it right now. And I'm just going to add that only to the inner corner and kind of overlap that just halfway, not fully. So hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. So just hitting that gold shimmer only into this portion right here like the inner corner and adding it a little bit over top of that spicy mommy shadow and as you guys can see i'm kind of just tapping it into or onto into girl i'll be lying onto my lid and just blending it very very light-handedly oh it skinned it you stupid little brush okay so now i'm just going to use the morphe times jacqueline hill brush this is the jh43 which is just a very flat brush i absolutely love using this just to clean up underneath my eyebrows but i'm not gonna do that today because I'll use a different brush. I'm just gonna use the hot tamale again and kind of pick up some shadow and just trace over. So that kind of pops around the cut crease. You guys can skip this part again like i always say just take your time with your work like no one's perfect at doing makeup no one's perfect at cutting hair or whatever the case may be fashion designing things like that i mean to each his own like me i like to toot my own horn and say i am the best because at the end of the day you have to hype yourself but no one's great at something it always took us a lot of practice and that's all you need just practice to the sea so now i'm just going to go back into the peachy shadow in a pinch and just pick up a little bit and just kind of lightly blend those well not blend those but blend this top part all together so that that color is right back peeping through. Because I have large <laughs> lid space and also my eyes are brown. So I like for my eyes to, if I'm speaking to you, hello, how are you? I want you guys to look at my eyes like, damn, her eyes are so beautiful, you know? So that's all that is. If you guys have any shades in mind that you guys would like me to use in the next video or whatever please let me know because sometimes i just be so out of tune with things and i'm not the type that i i don't like to copy someone else's work i want to do something that i know that i would literally wear out um and before i was never into like these types of shadows and stuff i was always like are my nudes so i like to venture out i wanted to add liquid liner but with this look, I like to keep it plain Jane. I will just smoke out my lash line with a darker shadow. So meaning like I will use Cookie Call, which is this beautiful brown shadow right here and kind of just run that only on my lash line. So using that same brush, I'm just going to drag it on my lash line. You don't gotta go heavy, I just prefer this over applying like with this type of look over applying um a cat eye because let's keep it 100 half the time i don't really wear a cat eye but it will be a look i just prefer the smoky lash line Okay, you guys, so I am going to add my lashes off of camera just because I feel like I'll be all up in the space <laughs> and my mouth be always open every time I rewatch doing that. So I'm going to apply my lashes off of camera and I'll be right back. 
Okay, so now I'm just going to go back into Hot Tamale and add that on my lower lash line just to put this look together because I'm feeling hella bare down there. So I'm just dragging it on my lower lash line. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dual Sided Brush. I'm just running it on my lower lash line. I have to be too fancy schmancy. I just felt a little um, bare on my lower lash line. <sighs> oh, bitch. Little hack for you guys. I always like fold it like flat and then I kind of like go like this. Yes, it is touching my eyeball right now. But it is also sucking up all oh, those little crybaby tears. <laughs> and I am a sucker for like little full moles or freckles. So I'm just going to be using this little liner that I got from the dollar store and just add here and there little moles. Again, you guys can skip this part. Okay, so now for my lips, I'm just going to be using, this is the Sugar Pie Liner by Morphe. It always takes the top. I hate this thing. It's like a perfect nude. And I'm just going to outline my lips. Um, how come I have to use this? This kind of reminds me of, um, Royal Lip Liner by MAC. Okay, so now I'm going to be using, this is the Too Faced Melted Matte Longwear Lipstick in the shade, what is this? Gingerbread Girl. It's such a beautiful shade, right up my alley. And Mm, it smells like gingerbread too. So I'm just going to add this all over my lips. And that is the completed look. Very simple, very glam, showing cara. You guys know how I do. I hope you guys all enjoyed creating this look with me. Make sure if you guys do recreate this look, please tag me on the gram. I would love to see you guys' looks. And yeah, until next time, I will see you guys all in my next video. Peace. Oh, I'm gonna start cooking dinner. <laughs>